Warning, the information on this podcast is meant to be absorbed without distraction or multitasking. In other words, disengage. Thank you for listening. The dark liquor experiments are recorded live in Brooklyn, New York. Kill, bang, marry. This is how I would do it. First of all, Susan likes me. I know that for a fact. She's always doing little things and watching me. I get her alone in the house, have a few drinks. Girls like that type of shit. Some wine coolers Jose got for me. And then order pizza. A regular pie, extra cheese and shit. We be watching a movie or a horror flick on Shudder or something. And I be like, yo, I'm going to the corner store and get us some snacks and dessert. It be winter, so I have on my bear coat and my Tim's. Had a fur trimmed hood up over my head so nobody on the block can see me. Oh, wait. First, I would take the cat with me, though. Let him jump out of my arms and run down the street so he can get into some shit. Because the cat is cool. I like him. I start walking to the train station, but I go the long way. Straight down Livingston. Then across the freeway and back. Halfway back, she's blowing up my phone. She's like, damn, where you at? I'm like, stop jocking me. I'm watching the movie while you're gone. No, you're not, because you're all scared. Come on, come back. Stop playing. They was closed. I'm walking all the way to the key food. That shit is like all the way down here at Sunset Park. I'm like, huh? Because I'm listening to my music in the other ear. And I make her repeat it like four times just to fuck with her. Then I say, what? And after a while, she'd be like, I'm feeling sleepy. I think I'm getting a headache. Come back before we don't have any time left. What do you mean? You know what I mean. But she's yawning and her words start slurring like she's trying to stay awake. Come on back. I want you. I'm going to be real good to you. All trying to get me to come back, talking all nasty. And I'm just listening, waiting. Waiting till her voice is a little mouse squeak. Like the one Ma caught on the glue trap. And his face was all in the glue, but you could still hear his little whines inside of his body. And he squeed all the way down the hall. Till I threw him in the trash compactor and slammed the door. I say, Susan, Susan, how do you feel? And she's like, not so good. That's because I turned all the burners on on the stove. And the whole place is filled with gas and everything is shut up tight. And she's all like, why you do that? Because I hate you. Remember that time in fourth grade you called me a black magpie in front of the whole lunch table? She say, why are you bringing up that old shit right now? And she's crying, real soft, trying to move around and get to the stove, but she's weak. And I had the knobs in my hand and I throw them shits over the overpass and watch them hit cars and get all crushed up. And the last thing she say is, Lamar, why are you doing this? I really liked you. Damn, that's fucked up, son. Well, you asked me how it go, right? That's crazy. So then the next one is Cheyenne. You know, she fine as fuck. Pretty face, bubble butt, enough titties to make a titty bear. Let me see, how would I smash it? Probably in my new Lamborghini. No, I got it. She got the keys to the teacher supply room on the third floor. Because you know they all love her. She all high, yellow, and get good grades and shit. I be seeing grown-ass teachers watching her walk down the hall. Anyway... We be in the closet, we be kissing, she be all grabbing on the Bozak. And I'm like, I ain't got no time for that. Her nipples all hard like a stack of dimes, cause you know the air conditioning in school be blasting. It's all dark in there, except for the sun lines coming through the blinds. And Cheyenne say, You gotta get her ready. Her needs to be wet. So I rub my hands up in that diamond gap outside of her jeans, till the fabric gets all hot. And I'm like, take them off. And she do. And I bend over the table. Pull out my rod surling, start pounding that shit up, bow, 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 just slamming it out. And she's making all kinds of noise, and I reach over and cover her mouth with my hand, and she's screaming, and it's vibrating in my hand, making me harder and harder. And I'm looking up at the periodic table on the wall, trying not to bust, but my dick is all F-E right now, and her ass is all A-U. She's like, don't come. But that shit is good and tight, and I pull out and bust all over the back of her sweater. She reached back and punched me in the chest all mad like, Ugh, I'm gonna be cold all day now. Then I see one of the teacher's coffee mug, Miss Cornblooms, the one with the drawing of Shakespeare on it. And I just milk the rest of it on there and rub it on the rim. And Cheyenne is dying laughing. So she's half dressed, sitting on the cold plastic chair, wiping her back with her sweater on, and I hear keys. Teacher coming in, crawl to the back exit and dip out. I'm in the hallway, zipping up my pants and buckling my belt when the bell rings. 
Wow. How'd you get so nasty at your age? Internet. You're wild. So let me finish this. The last one, Daisy. Me and Daisy be like 20 and we be at Coney Island, right? On the Ferris wheel going up, seeing all the project buildings lit up on one side, the dirty ass brown ocean on the other. We have some Nathan fries or whatever. She be all up under wing, making the whole car smell like Chanel number no. five. Anyway, we get to the top and the shit stops. And we swing in there, getting that empty feeling in your stomach. So you know how you can see the train yards from there, where the layup is at the end of the line? I'm like, look at that train coming in. She look over and right there be a full car graffiti piece. It be there in white and orange and yellow, her favorite colors. Zigzagging lines and arrows, mad crazy arrows shooting out of that bitch like sun rays. But she can't read it for a second because it's so wild style. And it don't say, will you marry me or no corny shit like that. It say, let's do this. And she look at me and smile. Oh, that's so cool what that guy did. Then I bust out the ring box and hand it to her. Her eyes get all wide and her face get long and she's screaming mad loud. But there's screams flying around everywhere and nobody cares. And I don't get on my knees on no pussy shit like that. Plus, that car floor is nasty. She see the three-carat canary rock and she faint. I smack her in the face a little, sprinkle some Sprite on her. Daisy wake up crying, saying, Ah, hells yeah, hells yeah, marry you! She start kissing me all over my face, top me off a bit before the car goes back down. Then we get married, change her name to ours, have a bunch of little half-Dominican kids and shit, but her body still stays tight. I take over her father's dry cleaning business, and we live happily ever fucking after. Wow, dude. Well, you asked. And what's the name of this game again? Murder Kill Bang? No, Kill Bang Mary. Damn, the game we had was called Run, Catch, and Kiss. What? You can't do that. You can sue for touching on somebody's daughter. Then you have some child predator shit on your record. Gotta tell all the neighbors that shit. That's not how it works, bruh. Besides, the girls were in on it back then. Spoken like a true defendant. All right, man, that's enough. Take your skinny ass to sleep before mom comes in here and plays her own game. Punch, yell, beat. 